To the Ravens news, every NFL team's biggest mini-camp winner and loser, Bleacher Report Baltimore Ravens winner, quarterback Lamar Jackson The Lamar Jackson love affair is kicking into hyperdrive. Almost from the moment the Ravens selected the 2016 Heisman Trophy winner, Baltimore was hailed for moving back into round one to snack Jackson. As Jameson Hensley reported for ESPN, now it's Jackson's turn to have praise heaped on him by teammates after dropping jaws in minicamp. Once he gets out of the pocket, it's like watching a young Michael Vick, linebacker C.J. Mosley said. It's amazing to watch. When you're a defending him, you just have to act like you're a tagging off, you don't want to be on the highlight reel. Loser, quarterback Joe Flacco of course, there's a flip side to all that hubbub about the Ravens' newest signal caller, the possibility of a quarterback controversy. For now, at least there's ISNT1. Pajonis Schaffer of the Baltimore Sun, Flacco took the Lions' share of the first team reps on the first day of mini-camp, and while there were a couple of interceptions, his accuracy was generally solid. But every time Jackson does something amazing, a nagging thought is going to pop into the heads of all in attendance. Maybe we should play this guy more. Scouts Notebook, NFL.com That's why we should NT dismiss the comments coming out of Baltimore Ravens minicamp regarding the impressive performance of Lamar Jackson, and how it is impacting the rest of the team. Sure, it is the off-season and there are plenty of guys who shine in shorts and shirts, but I believe there's plenty to glean from the glowing words flowing from Ravens coaches and players when it comes to the first-round draft pick. Every time he runs, him in or because most people, especially a quarterback, can't move the way he does. Wide receiver Chris Moore said after the Ravens' first day of mandatory minicamp via ESPN.com. So you just know that this year HES going to make some plays, for sure. That observation certainly doesn't surprise anyone who watched Jackson shine as a dual threat playmaker at Louisville, where he won the 2016 Heisman Trophy and posted back to backs with 3,500 plus passing yards and 1,500 plus rushing yards. He is one of the most explosive playmakers that I've ever seen with a ball in his hands. The comparisons to a young Mike Vick are valid. Heck, we even had Vic himself say that the young quarterback was a spitting image of himself on the Move the Sticks podcast earlier this year. Surprise off-season standouts to know for all 32 NFL teams, ESPN wide receiver Chris Moore While most of the attention has been on the additions to the passing game, Moore is showing staying power by making some of the best catches in off-season practices. He still sits behind Michael Crabtree, John Brown and Willie Sneed on the depth chart, but he has created a niche as a downfield threat and kickoff returner. A fourth-round pick in 2016, Moore believes he has improved his route running and his feel for coverages. Jameson Hensley Cover 3, an American football fan's guide to the World Cup counterparts for all 32 NFL teams. Pewter Report Morocco, Baltimore Ravens When you think of the Baltimore Ravens, what do you picture defense? Right such can be said about a Moroccan team that did not allow a single goal in six of their qualifying matches. Even if you think the Ravens have fallen off from the defensive pedigree they have boasted in the past. They were ranked 5th in 2017 in terms of total points allowed, which is pretty on par with what Morocco does from a soccer standpoint. On offence, Khalid Boutaib scores in bunches for the Moroccan national team, meaning he'll go hot and cold on you every now and then, but when he does, it's big. To me, that's just like Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco. Flacco has the potential to change the game with his big arm, but, at this point in his career, it's about as on and off as Boutaib's scoring regularity. Coach John Harbour for Baltimore and manager Herb Renard for Morocco are both defensive-minded coaches that have an airtight scheme that may only need one goal or one-two count to ultimately be called the victors in a match.